Today we're going to make some bathroom shelves with a sliding mirror. I'm going to make the hardware for the mirror by taking two ball bearings and bolting them to either side of an L bracket. The problem is the corners of the L bracket are sticking out past the ball bearings. So I'm going to use my belt sander to grind down the corners of the L bracket. Now we can reassemble it. I am using washers in between the ball bearings and the L brackets and then bolting it on with a nut. But I still got to grind the bolt down itself so that it's not sticking out past the nut. The shelves are going to be made out of strips of 3 quarter inch thick and 1 quarter inch thick plywood that I'm going to rip down with my table saw. I'm going to use my miter saw to cut the strips of plywood to the appropriate lengths. The bottom shelf is the easier one to make. It's just two layers of 3 quarter inch thick plywood glued together. Now I used waterproof wood glue for this one since it is going to be in the bathroom and will be exposed to moisture. Now the upper shelf is a little bit more complicated. I have to leave a space that will act as a track for the ball bearings. So I'm going to glue and screw strips of plywood to sort of make a little canyon that runs down the length of the shelf. I'm going to screw strips of one quarter inch plywood on top of the strips of three quarter inch plywood with a little bit of an overhang so that the wheels won't come off the track. Once the glue is dried, I'm going to sand down all the edges of the shelves. I'm going to finish and protect the shelves with three layers of polyacrylic finish. These little wheels that I made fit right into the track, but can't come out because the one quarter inch thick strips of plywood keep them on. I used a stud finder to find the locations of the 2x4s in the wall and then screwed metal brackets through the drywall and into the studs. I then screwed the shelves to the brackets. If I was going to do this project over, I probably wouldn't have used as many brackets. I probably would have added some vertical supports so that the two shelves were more like a cabinet and then just used a few brackets to hang the whole cabinet. Now that the shelves are in place, I'm ready to hang the mirror. I'm going to cut a short piece of an aluminum angle that I'm going to mount to the back of the mirror. I'm going to drill holes through the aluminum so that I can bolt the little L brackets to the aluminum angle. I'm going to use construction adhesive to secure the aluminum to the back of the mirror. After letting the construction adhesive cure for a full 48 hours, I removed two of the one quarter inch thick strips of plywood so that I could pop the mirror into the track. Once the mirror is in place, I was able to screw the quarter inch strips of plywood back on. I also added a few hooks to hang random things like fingernail clippers. For more detailed instructions, check out my website, and if you're interested in what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already.